So I wanted to go over something about Medicare for All now, and it's with regards to paychecks. Now this is something that nobody's mentioning, and I feel that it's uh, something that a lot of people are concerned about, is that, well, if we go to a single-payer system, Medicare for All system, well, our pay is going to be lower because our taxes will be higher. This is not true, and let me explain why. All things being equal, you take your pay stub, okay? You look at it, and let's say you've got about $10 in Medicare costs currently, okay? And then you've got $200 in your uh, health insurance premium. Well, that goes away completely under Medicare for All, okay? Because it's no longer privately funded. So the $200, automatically gone. That $10, now if you're making roughly about anywhere between $30,000 and $75,000 a year, you're likely going to see an increase of 10 to say about 50 to $60, okay? Now with that in mind, zero, 50 to 60, okay? Well, you're gonna be saving anywhere between 150 to 160 dollars. So your take home pay, let's say it was 800 dollars over two weeks. Your paycheck of 800 dollars with Medicare for All has now gone up. It has gone up to either 150, 160, depending on what that particular number is. So that's just one example, okay? Medicare for All would save money and as a result, your paychecks would increase. And that's without even raising your salary, okay? And we're always in the fight for 15, but, um, you know, I'll do something later on that talks more about that issue. But uh, Medicare for All does save money on multiple fronts, and this is one of them. It also saves, if you implement it the right way with, um, you know, legalizing tax and regulating all drugs, if you do house calls, that would be kind of a, a cool thing to bring back. Um, and also, this takes the burden off of employers, you know, think about that for a second. Like, I've actually tried to uh, talk to my company, the Home Depot, in my own little subtle way. You know, it's like, hey, you know, if your lobbyist went to Washington and lobbied for Medicare for All, you guys would save a ton. You know, how, how many millions a year or thousands, hundreds of thousands, whatever it might be, do you uh, spend on health care for everybody? Well, that goes away under Medicare for All, and the, and the company saves a ton. Everybody wins under Medicare for All. Now... To those people who are invested in the healthcare industry and in the pharma industry, you know what I say? Invest somewhere else. Very simple. This isn't like saying that you're never going to make money again, okay? You simply take your money, you take it out of healthcare, and you invest it somewhere else. It's not rocket science. Very simple. So there you have it for that. I hope that clears up the, that particular point on healthcare, and I will be doing uh, more videos a little later on.